Hi, this is Ujwal Gandhi from SpatialThoughts.com. We are continuing our series on QGIS Advanced Data Editing, where today we're going to explore the Vertex tool. This tool allows you to edit your existing geometries by uh, adding, moving, or deleting vertices. It's a really powerful tool with a lot of complex controls. So in this video, I'll demonstrate where you might want to use this and how you can use this to really do a fine editing of your geometries. So here I am in QGIS 3.22. I have a point layer loaded. Uh, this represents uh, some GPS survey points of parcels. And here we have one point for each corner of a parcel. And our task would be to create a parcel geometry. Uh, this is quite common when you're doing field surveys and you might get data like this. If your data is in sequence where each of the vertex of the parcel is digitized or collected in sequence, you can use the points to path tool in QGIS to create uh, a line representing the parcel boundary. But if your points are not in order, then you may have to use uh, something slightly different. Uh, here, let's assume our points are not in sequence and we want to generate polygons from the, all the different points that are collected. For this, we're going to use a tool called Minimum Bounding Geometry. This tool will take a field where to group all the points by. So we're going to use, show this point, which is called the unique ID, and it can generate different type of geometry. Uh, if you're expecting your points to be a perfect rectangles, you can use the bounding box, but we can use a convex cell, which is going to uh, give you the geometry that's containing all of the points and uh, you'll get one polygon for each unique value of this. Let's run this. And you can see we get a, a pretty decent result. Uh, we have different uh, parcels uh, joined into a polygon and it worked quite well. But there are cases where it didn't work quite well. You can see here that there are things that didn't go uh, quite well. Uh, I have the final result that we are looking at. If you just compare it with what the result we want, uh, this is the result that we are looking for. And you can see where you have, where you have uh, this five points uh, making a rectangle, it's going to create a convex hull, which is going to be the outer layer of all the points. But the parcel is like this. Right. So we will have to edit this polygon so that we join this vertex and not this edge. Similarly, if you look at here, we have this uh, parcel like this, but our tool created a parcel like this. So let's see how you may use the editing tools to be able to edit and fix this geometry. All right, I'm going to put the layer in editing mode and enable the snapping toolbar. We also have the vertex tool here. This is the tool that we're exploring. This tool allows you to select the vertex of any uh, geometry and move them or delete them or even add new vertex. So we'll start with this particular polygon. Uh, here, we would just want to add a new vertex on this line and move it to this node. So I'm gonna enable snapping so we are able to snap to different parts of geometry and we can start the vertex tool. Uh, since we have uh, multiple layers, I'm just gonna uh, work on the current layer so here it's going to, uh, it's allowing me to uh, go and select different vertices. I can click to select a particular vertex and I can move it. Uh, here, I don't have a vertex, but I want to create a vertex here and move it here. Uh, this tool is quite helpful where if you just hover over any edge, it's going to allow you to drop a new vertex at the middle of the uh, segment. So here as I'm hovering, you can see there is a plus icon that shows me that I can click here to add a new vertex. And I'm going to add, and now I can move this edge somewhere. So I'm going to come here and add this here. Okay. So this made me move the vertex here. I'm just going to drop another vertex here and join it here. Okay. So this made us create a geometry like this from our original geometry. And this is what uh, we wanted to do. Let's try this again on this particular polygon. We have this polygon where I can just drop a vertex at the center and I will move this here. Okay. So this uh, 
allowed us to edit this geometry and we made this uh, uh, in the original shape. So you saw how powerful this tool is with just a few clicks, you are able to add and move the vertices to the desired location. And we so let's learn some other technique to work with this tool. You can also select multiple nodes together, multiple vertices together and move them together. Uh, this is super helpful where you have a case where you have an edge like this and you want to move all of them together. Remember there are four vertices here, two vertices here and two here, and you want to move all of them offset by a certain distance. So uh, once this tool is selected, you can hold your shift key and either just click on the vertex or draw a rectangle to select uh, all of them. It, it turns blue and that means this is now selected. I can just do the same with this one, hold the shift key and select the vertex. And now I can click on one of the vertices and just move them to the desired location. And you can see now my uh, edge has moved here. And now you can see my polygons have a different geometry. And this is uh, quite easy and it'll help you edit your data in a very efficient and fast manner. The Vertex tool comes with a whole variety of features. I'm going to link to the documentation from the official QGIS documentation. Uh, you should definitely check it out if you're doing any data editing and you'll find the link to that in the description. Thank you and keep watching. If you missed the previous videos from this series, I'm going to link it uh, to the whole playlist. You may go and check out if you are interested in exploring all the different data editing tools in QGIS. Thank you.